Hello again. Uh, this is a bit of a just a quick uh, look for the date. Just I was messing around with this and I figured I'd show you. Um, I have a as you can see there. It's a, a Mega Drive. This is the 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 one we had in the UK slash Ireland. Uh, it's uh, the American one, obviously labeled Genesis. The Japanese one labeled Mega Drive as well, but it's got a where my finger is there is a purple one. Now the original Mega I had when I was a nipper it was it was a really weird kind of anomaly. It was uh, a Japanese one that was designed to work in Hong Kong, which is uh, was a British colony back then. So it was designed to work with UK TVs, which are the same as Irish ones, and it was also um, work with uh, PAL games and that that. For but like I said, it looks like a Japanese one. Uh, even took Japanese games, but would work quite happily on a PAL TV. So they're a great little machine. Unfortunately, died horribly. My brother. Uh, I think my brother actually threw it across the room and he lost at Street Fighter once, but that's a long time ago. I've nearly forgiven him. Anyway, uh, if you can see these two weird little switches, and I really need to fit them properly. Uh, there's a bit of mask and tape there, just holding them rightly in place. I just need to put a bit of an extra, uh, put a bit of hot glue in there just to get them permanently in there. Uh, basically, I did a bit of modding on the Mega Drive, so it now will run as a 50 hertz or 60 hertz machine, or a, a Japanese slash. Uh, English language machine. Now, what that means is uh, the 50 60 hertz thing is, you, I don't know if you know about this, in the US and Japan, um, because of the way TVs were, uh, the machine would run at 60 hertz. What's supposed to happen is when the, sorry, the UK ones then would run at 50 hertz. Now, what was supposed to happen is the games, as far as I know, and I could be slightly wrong on this, and feel free to correct me in the comments. I'll just delete you. No, I won't delete. Um, but as far as I know, games that were released in the UK and Ireland were supposed to be optimized to work at 50 hertz. But no one ever really bothered. Uh, so what that meant is... Uh, I'll tell you what, I'll show you. Okay, now, we're doing a camcorder job here. So you'll see a little bit of pretty banding on the screen. Now. I really have to mark those switches as well. Now, if I remember rightly, this is the UK one. Now, I don't know if you can see there. You've got this banding up the top and the bottom of the screen. And this, it's actually a bit slower, and the thing is, you don't know it until I flip the switch. Now, the banding there is because uh, the camcorder doesn't work at 60 hertz. Oh, knocked some really important stuff over there. Don't know if you noticed, the little bands on top of the bottom uh, are gone. The music's faster. Watch, I'm going to switch back again. Back to slow. And it's running nice and fast now. Uh, basically, this is it. I mean, some games I put in didn't seem to make much of a difference. Uh, others, uh, you can really hear that. I think it's like nearly 20% of a difference, um, speed-wise. Um, and these are, again, PAL games I'm putting in. This is the PAL version of uh, Sonic 1. And back to lovely, slow. Oh, the other thing is, I, I'm, I'm going to put a link on how this mod is done. It wasn't me. It's a guy called uh, Monkey. Well, it's MMM Monkey. Um, he has two mods for... Doing uh, two switch mods, but they're called. Uh, one is, as I said, 50 hertz, 60 hertz. The other one I'm going to show you now is whether it's a Japanese uh, language or an English language machine. So by combinations of these, you can have uh, the 50 hertz. Okay, let's put it up fast again for the like, kind of Greek sound. Uh, the 50 hertz uh, UK or 50 hertz English language will be a UK one. Uh, 60 hertz UK language will be a Genesis, basically, and. Uh, 60 hertz Japanese would be a Japanese one. I think 60 hertz Japanese or 50 hertz Japanese would be a uh, one of the Hong Kong ones I mentioned. I'm not 100 percent sure about that. I'm just guessing. Um, it definitely ran 50 hertz. Um, what I'll do is I will show you. Uh, there we go. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Let's see if we have a copy of something that is. Sorry about this, folks. Uh, there's a specific game I want to show you the language difference on. Uh, oh, here it is, in the, it's the pile of things I was working on. Mercs! If I remember rightly, it's Commando 3. Uh, no, Commando 2 in Japan. So. I think, think Wolf of the Battlefield was Commando 3 or something. There you go, so you get the Mercs logo. Uh, I think we're running, yeah, there you go. It's running in uh, 60 hertz. So let's pan back here. 
do the switch. Start back up again. Get the Sega logo. And there you go. It's that's his commando too. I'm guessing that uh, I can't read Japanese, unfortunately. Um, but uh, yeah, so like I said, I'm gonna post up the link. Um, you know what? I'm gonna do this thing where where is it gone? I'm gonna try and post it here, and I'm gonna look really silly if I forget to do this, the annotations. But there should be a link where my finger is pointing um, to say where uh, where to click on to uh, get the to have a look at doing the mod. There's two versions he has. One of them is a uh, one where you. One of them is basically the the the, the, the this one that uses like about four wires, and the other one is using about six. And I went with the six one. I tried the four one, and I made a hanes of it. Uh, so uh, sorry, that's Irish for made an absolute mess. Uh, but oh, knocking things over here. It, it's worth doing. I mean, if you, like I said, I happen to have a spare Mega Drive, so it, it's grand. I mean, it's you basically got about six little points on the motherboard, and they're not connected to anything. So what you do is, uh, sorry, there's there's one kind of trace, which is kind of like a electrical pathway uh, underneath the circuit board what it means is you basically get a get a uh, something sharp and you scrape between these there's, there's a set of I think uh, eight eight points on the motherboard they are listed J1 uh, J2 J3 and J4 and each of those has two two little silver bits beside it and what you do is you have a look and you'll see two of them are joined up if you, if you look really carefully you get a sharp knife and you scrape through it and then you follow his instructions you get it some cable uh, and you basically literally uh, solder on uh, like three cables uh, to the top and three cables to the bottom kind of thing and they connect to switches and they let you do this that, that's <coughs> excuse me that's it this guy's really cool but he's, he's lots of really amazing mods a lot of them involved in getting PCBs and making them it's fantastic it's way above my kind of electronic level at the moment um, but it's well worth checking out the other thing by the way to do is uh, and it's it's kind of sorry because it looks a bit bad there but you basically uh, need to widen you the hole on the top of the uh, the mech uh, if you want to use Japanese games uh, because they're kind of rounded as opposed to the let me see there do, 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 do. that's sort of mushroom shape do I have a Japanese game anywhere oh that'd be too easy wouldn't it it's got to be a Granada great game and it's got a sort of square connection with sort of roundy bits on the side uh, so basically you need to take the Mega Drive apart and widen just gradually widen the the slot uh, just to allow it to take Japanese games if you want to get down the route well worth it by the way I mean it's a uh, you can pick them off of eBay sometimes a bit cheaper uh, it's for certain titles so it's well handy very handy uh, now last thing um, because I didn't realize that this would work I love Master System games. Uh, I'm a big Master System fan. I love the design of the cartridges. I love the um, uh, basically I love uh, the, the design, the, the, all the, the the stuff that comes with them, like the way the car the, the boxes look and what have you. And I think see that I think brilliant games. Um, let's see what can I show you that will look pretty cool. Uh, oh yeah, let's let's do Outrun. Um, that mod. If you've got a power-based converter, and if you can pick up one uh, cheap, I recommend it because it's it means that, uh, well, you can do what I'm about to do now. I don't know if there's a Master System uh, speed mod, but this is, works pretty well. Let's see if I can, I'll just, don't know if you can hear the difference in speed there. you got the bands at the top, this is Outrun. Speeding up there. Now the other thing is, when you turn this on as a UK machine, it just starts up. When you turn it on as a Japanese one, it's a Sega Mark III. It's a Mark III. Yeah, Sega Mark III, the, which is the Japanese title for the Master System, if I remember rightly. If I'm wrong, please correct me. Um, I know there was the Mark II and the Mark I, but... Um, yeah, so they go. It actually works for Master System games if you have a power based converter. Um, some games, by the way, when you put them in, excuse me, uh, some games when you put them in don't work with uh, if you have the region, wrong region. I tried a few of mine there um, and they basically just power up and they go, oh, this isn't supposed to be used in Japan if you have the set to the wrong settings. Um, so it's it's well worth That's the whole reason you have switches rather than just setting it to, to 60. Um, the other thing is you need to get an RGB cable. Uh, you can make them, uh, you just have to get a DIN plug 
an 8 port DIN plug and uh, a SCART connection and basically do lots of soldering. Uh, alternatively, you can usually get them pretty cheap off eBay. I got them from a guy, uh, I'll post the link up later on. Um, there's a couple of guys out there that do these cables really well and the, the amount they charge, it, it's you know, it's 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 easier just to buy, even if you like making your own stuff. Um, but yeah, there you go. So it's something I recommend doing. It was it took me to be completely honest because I'm really cack handed when it comes to soldering. Uh, even though I've background on it years ago, I haven't done it in a long time. Um, it took me a while. Like I said, he has two mods, and the first one, which is the uh, the new mod he has, I could not get working. I think it's to do with the, the order the pins were in my machine. But uh, like I said, if you're not in any way sure, do the the older mod because it's uh, it, it's it's less complicated I mean it, it's it there's more cables and a bit more work involved in it but it's more straightforward you basically have uh, your switch has three little connections on it you have three wires connected to each of those connections and each of those then goes to three pins on the board so it's uh, it's not too hard to do uh, again it's handy if you've picked up a spare mega drive if you have a Genesis um, I don't know if it's worth your while if you actually have a Genesis but sorry considering I know uh, some people some of you are based in the States now um, it could be handy if you're playing import games uh, but uh it's probably definitely something you want to do if you have a, if you know, if you're based in the UK or Ireland or have a Mega Drive, um, as a, uh, sorry, UK Mega Drive as opposed to a uh, Genesis. So uh, there you go. Uh, and again, power base converter always worth getting. So there you go. This is today's luxury set data. It's just really just to show you the difference, uh, in the, the, the you know that these things make. So uh, and again, like I said, it works with the master system. So there you go. Have fun, guys.